and today we're going to be talking about eBay versus Etsy, Etsy versus eBay. This will be our opportunity to figure out where we want to sell in 2023. Um, I did do a little bit of research because I like infographics and I don't have one created, so I just went and grabbed one. But um, So here are two charts. Um, one, the eBay pros and cons and the Etsy pros and cons, and this comes to us from Shopify, so you can find this on your own. But um, I'm going to, of course, add a few things um, based on things that they may not have included. So selling on eBay, they are two different platforms. Um, you'll find a lot of, uh, you, you have the option to sell a lot of different products on both of them, but um, Etsy is going to give you uh, a few more limitations than eBay will. So that is the one, one of the biggest things. And eBay has a bigger audience than Etsy. So that's another big thing. The other thing is um, people that are going to eBay may be looking for, for bargains, whereas Etsy people are more likely to pay the price that you have listed, which I believe is absolutely true. So let's get into the pros and cons of selling on eBay. So you can get discovered by your customers easier than on Etsy. I do think that that is somewhat true. Etsy does have a lot of categories. They have a lot of um, you know, uh, products that you can sell, but the design and the layout is just, it's different. Um, you can almost sell anything, absolutely true. Um, eBay offers auctions and buy it now options. That is absolutely true. And it's easy to set up, easy to use. I think eBay is fairly easy to get started selling on it. And I think it's pretty easy to use. It's easy for buyers and it is easy for sellers. They do have a larger marketplace, um, like a global audience. That's absolutely true. And they have seller protections and they have a PayPal integration. You know, the seller hub on eBay is really um, easy to use. It's evolved over the years when I got started. Like, I'm sure it was much, much, much different than before I got started. But I got started in 2014 on eBay. And, um, you know, the seller hub has evolved over the years. I think it's gotten better and better. So I do appreciate that. The cons of selling on eBay is that they do charge um, higher fees. Like they have... Uh, higher fees than Etsy and eBay can be expensive as you add it up. Um, all of the different fees. Now, eBay is, and I believe, cheaper to sell on than Amazon. But anyway, um, they do have higher fees. Uh, unreliable buyers, because they are bargain shoppers, you're going to have more people looking for deals. They, there is some high competition, but I feel like you can get your products found. Um, so it's just the way that the listing displays, it's going to go in a vertical, like when someone is looking for a specific uh, product and they put it in the search, they're going to vertically look. So they're going to have to scroll through other people's options. And so yours may not be at the top. It may not be in the top three or four. And if the person is not a scroller, they're not going to find it, but there are bargain shoppers. So yes, there's some high competition over there. Uh, unfavorable uh, resolution on disputes eBay favors buyers over sellers. I do believe that's true, even though they do have seller protection. And a listing products is not as easy than it is on Etsy. Um, I do believe that that's true. Although eBay does have some, you know, um, they have different tools. Like you can do um, bulk listings with spreadsheets and they have some integration options. So I think both, both of them have integration options. Um, Etsy's integration options are slightly different. Um, so Etsy pros and cons. So it's a large mar marketplace for unique and handmade products. Absolutely. If you're looking for something unique and people are willing to pay on Etsy, I will say that if it's unique, it's handmade. Um, there, there's a lot of different things that you can sell on Etsy. It is easy to set up. They have multiple payment options or multiple payment methods. Yep. Um, good sense of community. Absolutely. Um, Lower charges to sellers. So um, Etsy wins in terms of Etsy fees versus eBay fees. The thing is, is that if you have a lot of Etsy listings over time, like even with eBay, like eBay will give you um, typically every month, uh, if you have a store or even if you don't have a store, like they'll give you um, free listing uh, fees, um, a certain number, like, you know, 100 free listings or, you know, 50 free listings or whatever the case may be. Um, Etsy's going to charge you. And so, you know, as you continue to list, 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 that 20 cents adds up over time. <laughs> um, it is an easy listing process. Very straightforward. The screen is easy to follow. 
Um, buyers don't mind paying more, which is what I've said before. Um, the cons of selling on Etsy is more time. It's more con time consuming as listings need to be created separately for each product. And that is true. So like on um, eBay, you can do sell yours um, or sell mine. I forget what the button says any day. Anyway, um, whereas Etsy, like if I wanted to create a variation, like I need to copy my text and everything to duplicate my listing. Um, and then if I'm, you know, changing the color up or whatever, uh, you can't sell everything. There are some product limitations and product restrictions. Yep. eBay has product uh, restrictions, but Etsy will only allow you to sell certain things. So like I can sell toys on eBay all day long. And the only kind of toys I can sell on Etsy are uh, vintage or I can sell, and, I, and even those, uh, they won't even, some of them, they won't even let you put those up, but handmade, they'll let you do that all day long. Um, it's not easy getting discovered by customers. That's true. You literally have to put in the right words for people to find it. And so when people are looking at on um, Etsy, they're looking in a, a horizontal view. And so they're scrolling from right to left or seeing it from right to left um, on the page. And there can be a lot depending on that person's first um, image or, you know, showcase image, profile image, whatever. Um, lack of customization when it comes to listings and no ownership of the data collection. You can't um, create an email list of your customers. Well, I mean, if you want to do it manually, you can. So, and, you know, depending on what your integrations are. So I think when it comes to integrations, both of them have a lot of integrations. They also have different tools, although eBay has a lot of built-in tools to help you create good listings. Etsy does has a lot of third, well, has a couple third-party tool options to help you um, to create better listings. So, you know, you're going to pay less than tools to be able to help you to get your listings up and to get... Um, you know, get your listings ranked on eBay than you will on Etsy. Um, E-Rank is a great tool to use on Etsy uh, to help you to figure out what the words are that people are searching for the different products, especially the product that you want to sell. So in any case, again, this is eBay versus Etsy, Etsy versus email. You decide which one you think is going to make sense for the product that you are selling. I think that's the biggest thing you need to, uh, when you're looking at a platform to sell on in 2023, you need to figure out what it is specifically that you're selling and where is your niche audience? Where's your audience going to most, most likely be based on the products that you're selling? And that's how I would make that decision. So it also may depend on your e-commerce method. Both of them will allow you, like you can do print on demand. Print on demand products are most likely found on Etsy over eBay. People are going to search on Etsy. Um, there are print-on-demand products that you'll find on eBay. And yes, you can um, sell uh, printables and downloadables on eBay. But again, people are most likely going over to Etsy to kind of find, a, find that kind of stuff. So again, you need to decide what it is you're selling, what's your niche, and where is your audience going to reside. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that you will tune in again as we continue to cover this versus. And you'll share this out with a friend, let somebody else know about the daily econ planning session. So maybe they can make some decisions on where they want to sell in 2023.